Hello everyone. So I feel called um, to do a video about sensitivity and empath empaths and um, what's being called for for us right now. So I'm going to talk about what makes us sensitive, um, what we've been programmed to believe about ourselves, um, how we have adapted to find safety, and then what's being called for right now at this time. So I know a lot of sensitives, um, including myself, who are really feeling the world. Uh, this time has, we're not only feeling the impact of what our families are going through, our loved ones, our friends, but also our provinces, our countries, our states. Um, we're really feeling everything. And that can be really overwhelming. Um, and sometimes it can feel like, um, who am I in the middle of all of this? So this feels really important because your sensitivity is needed. You are needed. And we have not been told that. We have not been um, taught that our sensitivity is important. So first off, what makes us sensitive? So our sensitivity is actually something they've um, proven that's in the brain. And there, there are these little pieces somewhere in the brain, I think in the middle, I can't remember exactly, and they're called insula. And our insula in the brain are um, used to um, have empathy with, with other people, and with animals and the earth. And HSPs, highly sensitive people and empaths, they have a heightened sense of insula. They have more insula or the insula are more active. So this makes us highly attuned to sounds, smells, tastes. We, you may have that experience where sudden jarring sounds might feel like something is drilling through you. That happens for me quite a bit when I, or, or vibrations when someone is doing construction down the road. This happened the other day for me. It was like my house was vibrating and it was creating, I was getting incredibly agitated by it and I didn't realize that the vibration was there. Then as soon as I clicked into that like, oh, there's a vibration happening, my I realized that my nervous system was put on guard. I'm like, what's happening here? Right, so vibrations, sounds might feel really jarring, you might be really sensitive to taste or even like touch fabric. Sometimes fabric can feel, it's like I can't, I can't touch that. One, one way that we are sensitive. Um, you may also be really sensitive to lights. Um, also, crowds of people. Sometimes it's like, I can't, it's too many people. You can't go into these crowds. You may pick up on emotions from other people. You may also just be highly attuned to different energies. So you might go out into the woods and feel the woods. You might be really attuned to your animals and animals, right? So these sensitivities are um, an innate part of us. And I really believe that every human being has this ability, this gift to be so highly attuned to their environment um, and the people around them. Um, and just like a mechanic or a musician, HSPs and empaths are, are more um, born into this. So it's a musician who can just play the piano from birth, right? That's an, an innate skill they just have. Or some mechanics, they're brilliant mechanics, right? And it's just something that they have in them. This is the same with being sensitive and empathic. And it can be learned. And... You can learn how to play the piano and you can learn how to be a mechanic. So what has happened over the years is that our sensitivity has been seen as something that is somehow impeding us from being normal. 
right? Our world exists very much in the brain, the thought process, the get this done to get here, to get here. Don't worry about feelings. Just keep going. It doesn't really work for, our, for us, does it? We're so in tune with our emotions and the emotions of other people. I bet that most of you watching this video right now are have heard stop being so sensitive, stop crying, why are you worried about that, just move on from that relationship, just keep going. So we've been programmed that our sensitivity is, is, um, is not good. Our sensitivity is, is really something that we should be ashamed of. And that's not true. Your sensitivity is glorious. Your sensitivity allows you to tune in to the subtlest nuances of yourself. Right? You are so in tune with what's going on inside of you. It's called um, interoception. You notice what is happening inside, which is why you feel so much. Your nervous system picks up on all of the subtleties that's going on in your body. One example of interoception is your stomach growling. When your stomach growls, you, that's a, an experience that's happening inside. It's needed. It's good to know when your stomach's growling, right? And so when we have this heightened sense of noticing our feelings, our nervous system then gets triggered through our vagus nerve to act on those feelings. And the world, most of the world, wants us to keep those feelings locked down. The world sees those feelings as no good. And that's because if we feel and if we tune in to what's happening inside, we may not go along with everyone else. We may want to do our own thing. And so the way we have adapted, I'll get back to that, the way we have adapted is um, we have become highly attuned to the needs and the feelings of other people, right? Because if someone is feeling something really big and they're very close to us and we feel what that person is feeling, then we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that person feels okay so that we feel okay. Because we were not taught how to separate, we were not taught how to sit in the discomfort of other people having big feelings. We were not taught how to create loving boundaries for ourselves and know that it's okay that we don't caretake everyone's big feelings. So right now we are being called to utilize the sensitivity that we all have. The world needs us. There is so much um, disagreement and argument, um, right versus wrong. And this happens because People are disconnected from their empathy. They are disconnected from their ability to connect on a nervous system level with another human being. They are disconnected from the connection to the earth and the animals. And in order for this world to thrive, that connection is needed. In order for this world to evolve into what is being called for, that empathy and sensitivity is needed. And so what you're, you are being called to do, which is what I've been being called to do, is to learn the subtle nuances and the magic 
of my own unique sensitivity. Your sensitivity is incredibly unique to you because all of us are unique beings. So this video is to is here to remind you that your sensitivity is okay. That when you feel big things, honor yourself. That when you feel impacted by other people's energy, give yourself some space so that you can feel what's going on for you. That when you feel impacted by bright lights, sounds, smells, take care of yourself. There is nothing wrong with you. It's about learning to honor ourselves and our experiences so we can then teach others how to honor themselves and, uh, and their experiences. And how then we can then all honor each other's experiences in this world. How we can sit with someone in pain and not take it on, but really get it. We are being called to understand each other. We are being called to sit with one another in deep empathy with as little judgment as possible. And I say with as little judgment as possible because that energy of judgment is difficult to sit with. Everyone gets to have their own experience and you are feeling so much right now because you are being called to honor your experience, to support yourself so that you can teach others how to support themselves. I'm here. If you need an ear, um, shoot me an email, send me a message. We're all in this together, even though it feels like we're sometimes completely alone. Because both are true, right? We are alone, completely alone, and completely connected. So find your unique way. Your unique way deserves honoring. Your uniqueness, your unique energy, your unique perception is needed. Happy new moon in Scorpio, everyone. <laughs>